Welcome back. Happening next weekend, downtown Indianapolis will host the IU Health Momentum, which is a bicycle festival. It's built around two races that bring in pro and amateur riders from across the U.S. And joining us this morning is pro cyclist Ariel Coy to talk about the event and the sport of cycling. Good morning. We've been chatting a little bit about your incredible history with cycling, but you haven't been into it that long. You just started not too long ago. I started focusing on it, on it in 2019, and it's been just completely full tilt focus cycling since then. Okay, and we're not just talking like cycling just going through the city you actually are a competitor too. yeah you're a yeah. pro um, I'm on butcher box cycling and they're uh, headquartered out of Massachusetts and the teams from all over the world honestly and so we compete in what's called the American Crit Cup and there are races all over the country we just were in Denver last weekend and we're in Indianapolis this weekend so we're really excited to bring it to our hometown You've got the battle scars to prove yeah, just how hard Denver true. was. Yeah. Speaking of it, you know, what is it like being a pro, a woman in a sport that's pretty dominated by male athletes? You know, there's definitely been the shift of male-dominated sport, but we're starting to see an increase in the women's field. Uh, this is um, one of the first times we got to see the women's Tour de France. And so um, seeing that there's more popularity and more viewership coming into the women's sport is really neat. Um, obviously, women's field sizes are smaller, but we're hoping to continue sure. to grow the sport. And it's just upward trajectory for us, I think. I would think the pandemic helped, too. A lot of people were trying to find ways to have some yes. fun, more people biking. Yeah. But with more people out you know, on the roadways, it's important to be safe. So what are some good safety reminders if you do pick up cycling or out on the road that we need to keep Definitely. in mind? Definitely, yeah. Um, I'm a big advocate of lights. Um, just having something, finding uh, routes with bike lanes on it, just making yourself as visible as possible if you are using um, shared roadways with motorists. Um, the Monon is always a great place for people to yes. kind of start out riding. Finding green ways, bike paths is really good. Um, and going with a group of people, you know, there's safety in numbers, I think, and of course, just always a helmet. I was going to say, you know, a lot of people don't want to wear a helmet. They're like, oh, it's going to mess up my hair, whatever reason you have. But how crucial is that in protecting oh, yourself from an injury? It is absolutely the singular most protective piece of equipment. We're in spandex, you know, so it is the most <laughs> yeah. protective piece of equipment that we have. And there's a lot of technology and safety for helmets. Can you tell us a little bit more about the festival? This is oh, awesome. Yes. Yeah, we're so excited. Um, the cool part about Momentum Indy is it's a two two race series, and um, Jen Savar, the race director, has put, poured herself into this thing. And we have a community ride on Saturday morning, starting at 9 a.m. Um, in honor of Major Taylor. And Major Taylor was a trailblazer, African American man who rode the velodrome, and he was just a phenomenal rider. And he has sort of set the agenda for how people should aspire to be with uh, equality in cycling. And so we have a ride Saturday morning, community ride. Um, welcome to everyone. There's different routes. I think there's like a, a mini route that's four miles and then maybe a 12 mile or all the way up to a 60 mile around Indianapolis. Wow. Starts at 9 a.m. So the whole community can come out and join. Um, and then following later that evening is when the races start. And so you'll see racing all afternoon on Mass Ave, three corner crit. It'll be great. I describe crits as like Formula One, but for bikes. Oh, okay. I was going to ask. I have no um, idea what that is. <laughs> yeah. And then um, so the women will kick off at like 5.50 p.m. And the men, I think, hour and a half later. And we'll race into the night. And the crowds come out. And a lot of people who did the community <sighs> ride come out also and watch. And it's just spectacular. I am so excited for this. Thank you for sharing your passion with yeah. us. It's awesome to see you compete and hopefully lots more Hoosiers will get the chance to check it all out as well. Yeah. So yeah. thanks for joining us this morning. And if you want to learn more, maybe you want to raise, partake in what we're talking about, of all that information on fox 59com slash links.